Well, one of the key questions regarding the expansion of the ISIL Takfiri militants in Syria and Iraq has been their finances. Fresh reports have now revealed that certain European countries have been buying oil from the terrorist group. In a briefing to the European Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee, the EU ambassador to Iraq, Yana Habeskova, said that some European countries have purchased crude from ISIL. She didn't mention any specific country, but reports suggest that Turkey has been buying and transporting oil from both ISIL and the Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Nusra Front in Syria. ISIL reportedly controls 11 oil fields in northern Iraq, as well as Syria's Raqqa province. U.S. intelligence officials estimate that Takfiri militants earn more than $3 million a day from oil profits, theft, human trafficking and ransom. They say the militants sell oil and other products via established networks in Turkey, Jordan and Iraq's Kurdistan region. To discuss that further, and I joined by Professor Eugene Dabous, who is a professor at Notre Dame University, and he's joining us live now via uh, satellite from the Lebanese capital. Now, Professor Dabous, um, certainly this is quite hypocritical, is it not, considering these European countries call ISIL a threat and are prepared to take part in this coalition, quote-unquote, against it, but yet are buying oil from it? Well, they're not buying oil directly from ISIL, obviously. They're, they're buying it from smugglers, from oil uh, rings who are exporting it through Kurdistan into Turkey. Uh, this is primarily because uh, recently Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states have started cutting the funds uh, from the Gulf uh, sponsors of al-Qaeda and, and, uh, and the Islamic State directly. So they've developed this alternative strategy of uh, funding their operations from within Syria and from within uh, Iraq by one, robbing banks and kidnapping people, but primarily uh, through their oil exports. And of course, this goes into the international oil market and it can end up in the European Union. That's uh, very simply because of the nature of the oil uh, export industry. But certainly, Professor Davos, I would imagine that the Europeans have resources at their fingertips which can trace where this oil is coming from. So certainly there is, there is a bit of at least complicity um, on their part. Is there not in the financing of ISIL? Well, they know uh, the price will be high to crack down on Turkey. It's pri primarily Turkey's responsibility to stop this. And, of course, Turkey's being very reluctant at the moment to support uh, the uh, NATO-led war against ISIS, uh, the Islamic State. So um, Turkey will be need to put under extreme pressure for them to crack down on these illegal uh, trading uh, mafias, if you will, who are smuggling uh, oil through Turkey. And Turkey is one of the primary routes, not only for, for oil, but in the future it will be natural gas and also the railroads. And, and so far, the Professor, I, I believe Turkey has not yet given into the pressure to at least use its air bases, uh, which it had refused in this fight against ISIL. Now, I, that obviously strikes one as, as odd as well, considering there are many reports that say uh, Turkey is allowed for the free flow of, of fighters into Syria. Well, Turkey's using the excuse of its uh, close to 50 hostages. It's not the only country that has hostages. We see the British and the Americans have them as well. I think there's something going on here behind the scenes. Turkey's waiting to get a better offer, a better deal. Uh, I think also next year with the uh, Armenian Genocide uh, having its centennial, its 100th anniversary, Turkey's sort of playing its cards right now and seeing what the West has to offer. Ironically, Turkey is part of the West because it's not only a member of NATO, but an accession state for the EU. But it's playing now a game with the West, if you will. And so, and finally, Professor, I wanted to ask you, um, are we finally going to see a crackdown then on this financing routes of ISIL, such as these oil sales um, indirectly in, that reach Europe somehow um, through Turkey, as you mentioned? Um, because obviously, I would imagine that without cutting off the financing, just airstrikes or, or other measures that the U.S. and others may be, may be contemplating at this time will be pointless. Well, we can see that the U.S. and the West in general have been successful in stopping the Gulf states from funding ISIS. Uh, that can be done, and it just was done. The same thing can be done to Turkey. Turkey is a little bit more tricky because it's a, a Western state, if you will, as a member of a NATO and uh, joining the EU. It can be done. Saudi Arabia stopped. Turkey can stop too. 
Okay, on that note, we'll leave it there for now. But of course, we do appreciate you speaking to us. As always, that was Professor Eugene Davus, who is speaking to us live from Beirut.